just got a look at the uh, uh, three-part uh, kind of retrospect of the Trek Zone just put up about uh, fan films, where they start more recently, because, again, they've been going on for about as long as Star Trek's been going on, and people have, have access to Super 8 cameras, but no, the more recent internet variety, and the effect that X and R had on it, and where we stand right now. Real good, check it out. They'll put a link down to part one down below. But basically, the bottom line, as far as with the guidelines and the fallout of the lawsuit, we're really not in much different situation than we were before the whole thing started. Basically, the guidelines just say, this is your safe territory. You venture outside of it, and it's the same as it was before. You do so at your own risk, which was basically the status that was the status quo beforehand. You do it at your own risk. All we know is now this is the safe area. Beyond that, you know, tread carefully. So things are not quite as bad as, as thought. Be. And I guess with a little bit of you know, shot and fright here that you know that Axonar cannot take advantage. Of that the part of the settlement is they have to be within the guidelines. Or here comes CBS again to finish off what's left of his money. More later, uh, Patreon, PayPal, Cafe Press, yada yada down below. And maybe later, I'll get some more up there. See you.